Hey everyone, Sam Brief here with the inaugural edition of the Chicago Chauffeur. And I've got the new Chicago State women's soccer coach, Mario Felix. Coach Felix. Thanks for having you're me. You're strapped in. I'm ready to go. So right. first. Let's, Let's do, do it. You are still in your first month on the job. Tell me why you took it. Yeah, so, um, you know, the city of Chicago is one of the greatest cities in the, in the country, in the world. Um, and so there was just an excitement about living in the big city, uh, being a part of something like Chicago State, speaking with Elliot and Jessica and what their vision is for this program, um, for the athletic department, and just the growth and changes that they're looking to make within this institution. It was just something I really wanted to be a part of. And, uh, you know, I think um, one thing that a lot of people are unaware of is, is at our level, there's there's over 350 Division One women's soccer programs, and there's about 18 to 20 uh, black head coaches. And so for me, it was an opportunity um, to provide another pathway for young coaches as they move up into the coaching world and what uh, you know opportunities I may be provide them and just the network that it opens up for ev for everyone so it was really something that I was hoping to do in order to help impact the growth of the game for players or people like myself um, in my network right you're very active yeah. in the coaching community so much so that you like me have a podcast tell yeah, me about it yeah yeah so um you know just like a lot of people um during covid it was like what do i do you know and um, how do i occupy my time and so um i started something called global coaches presentation um so we started doing webinars every wednesday and so we had head coaches from you know uh houston unc Asheville everywhere um, and and basically talking on topics recruiting uh, preseason uh, attacking topic defensive so topics whatever it may be soccer related as well as management it grew really fast and so I really enjoyed that and so that's just kind of how it got going thanks to COVID thanks to COVID and you're now here yeah. you're in Chicago yes. and I remember meeting you for the first time and one of the first questions I asked you was, who's your favorite NBA team? Yeah. And you said? Chicago Bulls. And it's been that way your whole my life? My whole life. Chicago Bulls my whole life. So, you know, I, I was born in 86, so I grew up towards the end of the Jordan era, but I got to watch, I remember the last three championships as a kid. I'm a big North Carolina fan, um, Tar Heels basketball. So I've just always followed Jordan. And so, you know, even down the years when there were some rough years, I'm a massive Derrick Rose fan still to this day, one of my favorite point guards of all time, you know, and just, you know, seeing how things are going now with the current roster, Kobe, who's from North Carolina, is on the roster. Oh, that know? connection's so, sweet. Yeah, so it's, it's cool yeah. to see some of the, the players come in. Zach Levine is so fun to watch. And so for me, it's, um, yeah, I've always been a Bulls fan. So an opportunity to be in a place to watch my favorite team play uh, was definitely a good selling point as well. Have you gone yet? Not yet, no. Oh, so come on, let's go. I'm, I'm definitely looking to go to a game. You got to take the family. Hey, I know you got a big family. You're moving them out from yeah. your last home which yes. was cedar city utah cedar with city. southern utah university yes, absolutely once the school year's over the rest of the family's coming over so yes. who's coming yeah so i have a, a son amos amos is uh about to turn nine he's my oldest and then i have adele she's six she's first grade and i have the little one amina um she's one and then my wife autumn and then our dog melly yes that's the family moving okay so the thing i'm noticing yeah all of the human children have an A, yeah. and your wife is an A name, yeah, yeah. but the dog, the non-human, has an M, yeah. which is you, Mario. So yeah. it sounds like you lost a coin flip. She I did, the yeah. It off. just kind of, you know, it's, <laughs> yeah, somehow it just worked out. I mean, I guess it worked out for Autumn. Um, but yeah, no, we just really liked going with the A names and found some really cool names. Amos Lee, great musician, really loved Amos Lee. Adele, phenomenal musician. You yeah, know, Adele's and so, <laughs> and then Amina um, has a really cool meaning, um, and it means warrior um, in Arabic. And so, um, my daughter was born. Amina was born three months early, so spent three months in the NICU, and so it was fitting. She was a warrior, and that's my little warrior baby. And so, it was fitting that she was named the the name that she was, and they all just kind of happened to go by uh, the letter A. Wow. 
Yeah. Um, and I'm really excited to meet the family coach. Oh yeah, they're awesome. As we turn, by the way, I feel like I gotta be a little bit of a geography guy, given that you're so new. Yeah. We're going right now west on 95th, just yes. turned off of MLK Drive, so we're kind of going away from campus towards yeah. the red line. Absolutely. You getting your bearings here? I'm Chicago? getting my bearings, yeah. So um, right now I'm currently staying a little northwest of campus. Um, but I drive through um, basically all of 95 from Oakland across. So I'm getting fairly familiar with the South Side uh, area, you know, and, and really enjoying it. There's some really good restaurants around here, some really good mom and pop shops um, that I'm kind of hearing about. And then, uh, you know, Portillo's I've heard about and I've gone and I really enjoy it. What'd so, you get? So, um, what's well, just a beef sandwich? Yeah, yeah, yes, Italian yeah. beef, that's the uh, way to do it. Dry, I'm not dry. Like, yeah, the really? Oh, too, I want it soaking. I, I don't want, want it like soggy a bread. Food. Yeah, soggy bread okay. is, is my least favorite thing in food. So, I go with dry, you know, and hot peppers, and yeah, yeah, call it a day. Hot peppers. Okay, yes. that's funny. You're dry, hot peppers. I am wet with the sweet peppers. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Um, I guess opposites attract in that sense. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Coach Felix, yes. you have just come to Chicago. You're still in your third week as the head women's soccer coach here. Yes. Your last stop was Southern Utah, Cedar City, Utah, and Cedar Chicago, City. Illinois. Two yes. very different places. What's the biggest difference? Um, I, Chicago's diverse. I love the diversity here. Um, it's obviously, rainy too. Yeah, the rain. I, I love the rain. That's there's no problem there. Um, the ball actually moves a little faster in the rain, so I'll take it. Um, yeah, I think the biggest thing is you know we're in a massive city. There's so much to do. Two professional baseball teams, hockey, football, women's soccer, men's soccer, NBA, WNBA. So for me and my family, we're massive sports fans, and so it's just an opportunity. You know, the museums, the art shows, and so on and so forth. The lake. Um, you know, I'm Navy vet, so I did I did basic training in, in the North Side and in, in Great Lakes, and I went to A school there, so I have some familiarity with the area. And so now it's really cool to just call Chicago home. Thank you for your service. Yeah, thank you. I would love to hear whatever you're willing to share about your military career. So I was stationed in Pearl Harbor um, on the USS Reuben James. It's a frigate. Um, so it's now decommed, actually it's probably on the bottom of the ocean. Um, and so um, with the new, you know, artillery and everything that's in the military, um, the Reuben James was decommed and used as more like a target. So we actually, a lot of us on Facebook Live got to watch it, it uh, you know, it sink. Wow. And so that was really cool. So I, I spent time Westpac, um, that's the fleet, uh, and um, I was in Pearl Harbor, you know, and so that was really cool to could be somewhere as historic as Pearl Harbor, serving in the military. My dad's a Navy vet. Uh, my brother is an Army vet. My stepmom was a Navy and Army vet. So there's a little bit of history uh, historically for us and just being and serving in the military. Well, like I said, thank you for your yeah, service. I mean, I being in that. a place like Pearl Harbor yeah. must be bone chilling at first. Yeah, yeah. So there's some places where like literally, um, you know, you're on the dock and it's glass. And so you can see, you know, ships literally under you and so it kind of brings things to a little perspective on you know how fortunate we are um, to be where we're at in the country that we're able to live the way that we want to live and the sacrifices that were made uh, for mothers in the past so yeah it's really cool wow. yeah we, we absolutely are that's really well said and coach you come from that part of the country that yes. part of the world yes you're a Hawaii boy yes, at heart, yes. and then to SoCal. Give me the Mario Felix geographical history. Yeah, oh my goodness. So, um, yes, born in Hawaii, Big Island, uh, born in Pahoa. I'm sorry, born in Hilo, grew up in Pahoa, went to Hilo, born in Hilo Hospital, grew up in Pahoa. Um, on the island, we call it Puna, it's the Puna side. Uh, and then I moved to the mainland, um, late elementary, to live with my dad and my stepmom. He was stationed in Hawaii in Oxnard, California. So I grew up in Oxnard, um, went to the military and then uh, moved around quite a bit and uh, kind of found my niche and coaching just moved me around some really cool places, you know, Santa Barbara, Kansas, Utah, and now Chicago. So it's been, uh, you know, the moving, it, it's, it's, it's part of the game. And, uh, you know, luckily it was opportunities that allowed me to eventually get a head coaching opportunity. So I'm really excited about that. What's something about Mario Felix that not a lot of people know? Ooh, so, um, yeah. 
I am an open book. <laughs> For me, um, I love, I like cooking. I really do. So cooking's my thing. I don't do it a lot because I'm always pretty busy, but when I do get to cook, I, I really enjoy it. I've got my playlist. It's called um, In the Kitchen. And in, the in the kitchen, and I'm literally Rocking in the kitchen. So it's Adele, um, James Blake. Um, who else do I have in there? Uh, you know, so it's kind of like that more of a calm vibe. Um, Jason Marat, Mraz. Oh my goodness, yeah. So it's it's kind of a cool little chill vibe while I cook. Adele, and like your daughter, Adele, like course. my daughter. Yes, absolutely. And what so, do you cook? Um, so I, everything. I, I so I have a Traeger. So if anyone that has a, a Traeger, what? a Traeger, it's what a, is a Traeger? it's a wood pellet smoking grill. Wood pellet smoking oh. grill. Anyone that's watching that has a Traeger knows what the Traeger <laughs> world is. I feel like I'm about to Google it, oh buy goodness. one, and then my life yes, will change. Yes, your life will yeah. change. Oh Because I'm like a simple pan and oven. Oh, no, no, no. You need a Traeger. Traeger's Traeger. worth it. Abs Traeger. Absolutely okay. worth it. Traeger grills. Yeah, so um, I love to cook on Traeger. So pulled pork, steaks, ribs, you name it. When's my it dinner invite? Yeah, when, yeah. That, when, that, okay. when it stops raining, we're outside. <laughs> when it stops and raining. And we're on the yep. grill, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, and then obviously I grew up in a, in a Puerto Rican Dominican household. So, arroz con pollo, you know, um, uh, what we call platanos, people call plantains. So you have the sweet platanos, you have the green platanos, um, fried with ketchup and, you know, and, and chicken comes with everything, rice and beans. And so, yeah, we, we have an eclectic recipes uh, at home and um, it's really cool. Yeah. See you when the rain stops. And of course, it's raining here today <laughs> in Chicago. Yeah. So we just turned on to MLK Drive. That yeah. means we're almost back on campus, 95th and MLK. That means it's time for the lightning round. So I'm going to crack up your seat warmer yeah. and put you on the hot seat. You ready? Let's do this. All right, we're going on a trip. I'm buying you a plane ticket. Yeah. Window, middle, or aisle? Window. Why? Absolutely. Um, I hate flying. I love to travel. Wow. I hate flying. So I've been uh, Paris, Holland, um, England. I've been to Belgium, Germany, uh, Norway, Denmark, Sweden. I hate flying. So when I sit on the window, I just like to get comfortable and be able to rest. Yeah, cuddle up. Exactly. And so uh, I need a window. I, it's like imperative that I have a cook. Okay. This is an important one for you. Scale of one to ten, how good of a cook are you? I'm a nine. I'm how do you take nine. your coffee? Uh, traditionally, I'm a, a, a vanilla latte, coconut or almond milk. Um, starting to get into oat milk, but vanilla latte, but I'll drink, I'll drink a frappuccino, I'll drink it black. Um, I, I'm a big coffee drinker and it's always an extra shot. What's the greatest movie of all time? Oh, Finding Forrester. Greatest movie of all time is Finding Forrester. Absolutely. Greatest soccer player. Greatest of all soccer time. player of all time, Cristiano Ronaldo. And why is that? I mean, just numbers don't lie. Right. He scores goals. I mean, right. what else can you ask for someone that, at that level to do it consistently? Yeah, I'm a big Tottenham Hotspurs fan. And coming uh, up to the gate here. What's up, Tammy? Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Tammy, the best. The best. Yes, Tammy Tammy's at the gate here. Awesome. Yeah, and so, um, Cristiano, definitely. Greatest basketball player of all time. Do I even need to ask? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can finish that sentence. Oh, asking. no way. Yes. We would get up on the wrong note if you said something else. Man, it's really raining yeah. here. All right, what's the best item of clothing you own? Oh, I'm a big shoe guy. Um, probably have like 60 pair of shoes, to be honest with you. Um, probably Yeezys. I love my Yeezys, but now I'm at a Nike school. I love my Air Force Ones. Uh, I love my Air Max 95s. Um, so yeah, usually between Yeezys and Air Maxes are probably where I'm at. 60 pairs of shoes. Wow, moving. Yes. Must be a lot of fun with you. <laughs> okay, so I told you we were going on a trip. Yeah. The thing is, all right, this big truck can go here. Yep, I don't have enough space. And, you know, this car, by the way, uh, this is my 07 Volkswagen GTI Fahrenheit. There we go. It's, it's a limited edition with the orange. Our head volleyball coach, Tony Trippinov, likes calling it 
the orange goose. <laughs> I get the orange, but yeah, I don't get the goose. I don't know. We'll figure right, that out. As we park, here's an important one. I told you we were going to go on a trip. Yeah. It's actually to a different planet. What planet do you want to move to with me? Mars. And why? I mean, according to scientists, it's the next planet that has a possibility for life. Right. So there's a little least, water. You no, know, like I'm not. We can we can drink. Yes, exactly. So Mars, definitely. Let's go. We can do that on Mars. We can live. We have an opportunity right. to drive. All right, hey, here we are, back at the Jones Convocation Center. How was the first Chicago chauffeur for you? Loved it. Absolutely. Was I a good Thanks driver? For around. Yes. Did you feel safe? Hey, five stars. Five stars. I'd recommend That's again. important. There well, I know the driver gives the passenger a rating too. I'm gonna give you. Four and a half because you didn't bring food. Oh, next time. Touche. Next, next time. time. That is ribs. Mario. Oh, ribs. I'll yeah. take ribs. Or short, short ribs, too. Short ribs. Really. Okay. Do that. okay. That's Mario Felix. He's going to bring me ribs. He's also the new Chicago State head women's soccer coach. I have been Sam Brief, the Chicago chauffeur. We'll talk to you next time, coach. Thank you. Appreciate it.